The Roman Catholic St. Papin's Church. The Roman Catholic St. Papin's Church was built around 1797, where Santry Avenue meets the Knoll Road, that is Ballymun Road. On the 17th of August, 1837, Eugene O'Curry visited Santry as part of the Ordnance Survey. Ordnance Survey means making a complete map of the country and we can learn a lot of information from these maps. At that time, Mr. O'Curry found that the church was not being used. In fact, he said that it had already been abandoned as a burial place for some years. St. Papin was the son of Angus MacNaffred, the first Christian king of Munster. His brothers, Coleman, Follerman, Gerno and Nal, are also saints. He was a monk who lived in the 5th and 6th centuries. There was a monastery in the 6th century on the site of the present-day St. Papin's Church of Ireland. St. Papin's Roman Catholic Church moved to its present site on the east of Ballymun Road in 1846. It was built during famine times and the local people who built it were paid in food. The land for the church was provided by Sir Charles Domville, owner of Santry Estate. When the church was first built, it had no seats. There was only one set of seats between the Roman Catholic Church in Ballymun and St. Papin's Church of Ireland in Santry. The churches had to share seats and they were moved back and forth for each service. There's a vault behind the church that was built by the Domville family in memory of their coachman, James Kelly. James died because of a cruel practical joke. A crowd of drunken young men, part of the Hellfire Club, poured whiskey over him and then set fire to it. The club was burnt down in the fire that followed the incident. The church building still exists today, but is not used for church services. It is part of a nursing home called St. Papin's Nursing Home.